If you've been watching tech news lately, you probably know it's either people hyping the latest AI slab generation tool and announcing developers are deprecated, or it's people ranting about the latest AI slab generation tool and insisting that developers will never be deprecated. But the good news is that outside this endless feed of AI demos and doomsday predictions, some pretty amazing things are happening in the real world of software development. Void Zero just announced they raised $12.5 million to continue their efforts in building a unified high-performance JavaScript toolchain that might actually fix the chaos the front-end ecosystem has been drowning in for over a decade. As a funny side note, I believe we all miss the good old days when our main concern was that there were too many front-end frameworks in the market. Well, now we have models, agents, and an existential crisis every time we hear about Vibe coders making millions with their half-baked products. Back to the video, this investment comes after an initial $4.6 million seed round led by investors who clearly see potential in Void Zero's goal and especially in its founder. Evan Yu is one of the most respected figures in modern web development. He's the creator of Vue.js, one of the most successful open source frameworks ever built, and Vite, which completely changed how we think about front-end tooling in just a couple of years. As Evan said on the announcement page, if the seed funding is for research, then Series A funding is for acceleration. The Void Zero team has grown and their recent results are rather impressive. First, Vite surpassed Webpack in weekly downloads. This one is actually a big deal, because Webpack has been the default backbone of front-end builds for nearly a decade. It powered everything from React to Angular to custom enterprise setups, and for a long time, it was considered untouchable. Vite was able to disrupt all that in a matter of a few years by doing something shockingly simple. They leveraged modern web standards to make development fast with no configuration headaches. Second, Vite's browser mode became stable. I know that testing is not the most glamorous topic in development, but this is actually huge. Vtest's browser mode lets you run tests directly in a real browser environment, not a simulated one. As a result, there will be no more differences between how your code behaves in Node versus how it actually runs in Chrome or Safari. So testing will become both faster and more realistic, and we can get rid of the usual pain of configuring Selenium, Puppeteer or Cypress. This is also a clear indication that Void Zero plans to remove the artificial boundaries between tools that should have worked together from the start. In the traditional JavaScript world, your bundler, dev server, test runner, and framework are separate projects barely stitched together. Void Zero is moving toward a model where they share a common foundation, so everything behaves consistently and scales seamlessly from development to production. Rolldown also reached 1 million weekly downloads, which has a few interesting implications. Rolldown, for those who haven't kept up, is Void Zero's answer to rollup. Bundlers are still really important in 2025 because they help you combine and optimize your production builds. Rolldown is modular, fast, and designed to be a shared core for multiple tools rather than a standalone product. That means other projects, including Vite itself, can build on top of it and benefit from consistent performance without constantly reinventing the wheel. And the final piece of the puzzle is the oxidation compiler, which might end up being the most important component of all. Oxidation is Void Zero's effort to rebuild the foundation of JavaScript tooling using Rust in an attempt to finally eliminate the long-standing performance bottlenecks that come from node-based tools. This is the same philosophy that powered the shift from Babel to SWC or from Terser to ESBuild, except this time it's happening across the entire toolchain. The reality is that every modern front-end tool eventually hits the same wall. JavaScript is great for flexibility, but terrible for sustained performance under heavy workloads. So what Oxidation does is take the proven developer experience of tools like Vite and Vitest and back them with a Rust-powered core that can compile, transform, and bundle code with near-native speed. So, while the web dev world appears to be in shambles, there is still good news out there, with people still betting on actual software development. Having investors interested in such niche open-source technologies was really not conceivable a few years back. And, while some might frown when they hear VC money, it's important to know that the space needs it. Modern web tooling has grown too complex, too fragmented, and too dependent on unpaid open-source labor to keep evolving without proper funding. So the fact that serious investors are now backing infrastructure projects like Void Zero is a signal that developer experience and efficiency are finally being treated as critical technology. If you like this video, you should check out some of these ones next. Please don't forget to click on all the buttons YouTube is throwing at you these days, and until next time, thank you for watching.